The idea of the distribute text to layers i expression is that you can easily distribute a text from a single layer to a bunch of layers such that each individual layer contains only a single letter or a single word or a single line of your original text. In this example I've prepared already some animation where I've applied to a bunch of text layers a physics simulation I expression, namely the throw to the I expression. You can see the letters nicely fall down to the ground and obviously for this effect we need that each letter is on an individual layer. Yeah? And now if you want to adjust the text that is here from consisting of just a lot of A's into something more meaningful, usually this would be very tedious. So you go to the first letter, click on uh, it, like double click on it and set it to M. And then you go to the second letter and double click on it and go to the A and so on. And if you have large texts, this is very tedious. And when you change it, it's always tedious. Uh, each time you, you modify your content, you have to go to each layer and spend a lot of time on this. This is much faster with the uh, distributed text to layers I expression. Here we just set the content on the first of the layers and right here Marmo world for example and now we apply the I expression to the source text apply and you can see it becomes again the M and this is because we've set the first layer to be layer number one. So this means okay the first letter gets only the, the first layer gets only layer number one, gets only the first letter of this text that we've entered here. And now we can copy the source text. So we select the source text, go to Edit, Copy, Control C, and then we select all the other text layers and go on Edit, Paste. And as by magic, you can see all of them have now the correct letter of this uh, text, and it is very easy to update. Yeah, Just update the entire text here. Um, so if you want to change it, you just go here and double click on it and enter now the other text that, so, that you um, want. So let's say we want the marmo to be a bold uh, or uppercase. You can just modify it here. And now the change is only uh, uh, done in the first one, of course. But again, you can copy the source text, control C, paste it to all the others, control V and bam, you have your update much faster than as if you would go through the individual letters. Of course, all the animation, everything is as it was before. Okay, some, uh, uh, some uh, details to this. Um, first, you can specify here a layer name instead of a layer index. So the point is the following. If we say we add now another layer, say layer new, solid and make it uh, whatever solid here on top, you can see that now these letters here changed yeah, to Amo world and the M at the beginning is missing. And this is because now this text layer is layer number two and the expression thinks, okay, the text starts at the first layer. So the first letter uh, goes to the first layer, which has no text at all. Therefore it disappeared. Yeah? And we can avoid these problems when inserting new layers if we simply rename our layer and call this here first text for example and then we say the first layer name or index is the layer name first text like this and if you apply this to all of your i expressions uh, to all of your text layers you can see now it's correct again and if we insert additional layers let's say we duplicate this here control d control d now we have three other layers on top and it doesn't matter for our text at all then we have this source text i would usually recommend to really leave this empty um, because um, i would recommend to change your text by changing it on the first instance and then copying it and pasting it to all the other ones, as you've seen. But if you say, I need to do a lot of like keyframing, for example, on my source text, uh, and I want to be able to even change it quicker, uh, then always doing this cut and paste, you can do something even more elegant. And this is create another text layer. And let's say we call this one source, yeah, and uh, call this here my new text like this and let's call this one 
source. And then we say our source layer is a layer named source. And if we apply this to all of our layers and click on apply, then you can see that the text now my new TE is taken from this source layer automatically and without any copy and paste you can just go to your source layer and update this update this and you can see that here these animating letters also update accordingly yeah so in other words if you leave this here empty the text is always taken from the layers themselves and you can update them by updating one one of the letters and copying and pasting the value to the other ones if you want to have it even faster link it here to some source layer and you just need to update this one source layers and all the others are connected to it i recommend using this here, leaving this here empty, because connecting things to other things makes it a bit slower. So this option with the source layer makes it a bit, a bit slower. Of course, you can make your source layer here invisible, um, such that uh, it, it doesn't, it's, it's no problem here for, uh, so, such that you have only these letters here visible and not your source that is more or less just a helper. Okay. Um, split into letters instead of letters, you can also split it into words. Yeah, this means the first layer would get the first entire word of your original text and the second layer would get the second word and so on. Here this would make not so much sense at the moment, so therefore I, I leave it like this. You can also do it with entire lines. Yeah, if you have multi-line text, you can say the first layer gets the first line, the second layer gets the second line and so on. Or maybe let's really quickly show it with the words. So we go to words apply it to all these here, apply. And now you can see the first element contains the first entire word, update. The second one contains this full word, this, and so on. The other ones are all empty. If we adjust now our source layer to contain more words, update this text with uh, blah, 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 whatever. You can see here now each of the other layers gets exactly one word of your original text. Finally, we have these advanced settings here. And this is um, first the letters, words, lines per layer. Um, and this is, um, we can uh, say we do not just want one letter, for example, but each word should, or each of these layers should contain two letters. Uh, so we select all of these again, hit apply. And now you can see the first layer contains up, which is the first up here. The next contains day for this day and then TE. So each of the layers contains now two, uh, two characters. Um, here this looks as if it would contain three characters, but it's actually one layer containing only the T and the empty space before it, and the next one containing the H and the I. So each layer contains two letters. Let's go back here to one and apply it again to all of these here. And maybe let me enable auto updates so such that all changes we do now are automatically applied to all these layers here. Uh, the next thing is you can have several identical copies of the same letter. So let's say we put this here to two and go somewhere else, then you can say the first two layers have the U, which is here the first letter, and then the next two have the P, which is the second letter, the next two have the D, and so on. This is very useful if you have more complex setups where, say, you have always two layers on top of each other, where the second layer is like a shadow of the first one or so. Yeah, Therefore, you sometimes want to have identical copies uh, below each other. Yeah? So it's like the first two have the same letter and then the next two have two. Very, very useful. Okay, and then you can change your layer order from left to right, also to right to left. And now you can see the start, the text starts from the end. Yeah, so you have to the H from the very end here, and then you have the T here and here, and then the I and so on. So you can build up your texts from left to right or from right to left. Okay, that's a quick overview over the distribute text to layers I expression. I hope you like it 
and uh, are with me again in the next tutorial.